uh, before we end the inaugural session, we have a short pre-recorded video by the uh, head of science and innovation embassy of Sweden, India, by Dr. Per N. Wilstrom. Uh, can we have that video be played? He was supposed to join us physically, but there's a emergent meeting in Delhi, so he missed the uh, morning flight. So that's why he sent, recorded a video and sent it to us. Can we have the video, please? Ladies and gentlemen, I stand before you today proud to talk about the vast possibilities of collaboration between Sweden and India in the fields of higher education, research and innovation. The collaboration between these two countries is not just a matter of chance, but it's the result of a shared vision of the future, a future that is driven by innovation and creativity, a future that is characterized by a better life for everyone, a future that is achievable through close cooperation between two great nations. In education, year 2021 to 2022, we had more than 2,000 Indian students at our universities on different levels. This number was only 796 uh, 10 years late, uh, earlier. So we have an increase with almost 300%. This number, uh, when it comes to even 10 years before that, was only down to 100, about 100. So we've had an increase with almost 1,800%. This is an example of our collaboration when it comes to education. But it's not enough, of course. We should strengthen our collaboration and partnership furthermore. In higher education, Sweden and India are two of the leading nations in the world. Sweden is renowned for its universities, research institutes and innovative te technologies. Meanwhile, India is known for its rich tradition of academic excellence, its diverse and dynamic student population and its growing economy, its booming economy. Together, these two nations can combine their expertise to develop a joint higher education program that will help to equip students with the skills and knowledge they need to succeed in the 21st century. This collaboration can help to develop programs that are designed to meet the needs for students in both countries and to create a new generation of graduates who are well equipped to tackle the challenges of the future. In terms of research and innovation, Sweden and India can work together to create a new level to even 10 years before that was only down to 100, about 100. So we've had an increase with almost 1,800%. This is an example of our collaboration when it comes to education. But it's not enough, of course. We should strengthen our collaboration and partnership furthermore. In higher education, Sweden and India are two of the leading nations in the world. Sweden is renowned for its universities, research institutes and innovative te technologies. Meanwhile, India is known for its rich tradition of academic excellence, its diverse and dynamic student population and its growing economy its booming economy. Together, these two nations can combine their expertise to develop a joint higher education program that will help to equip students with the skills and knowledge they need to succeed in the 21st century. This collaboration can help to develop programs that are designed to meet the needs for students in both countries and to create a new generation of graduates we are well equipped to tackle the challenges of the future. In terms of research and innovation, Sweden and India can work together to create a new level of collaboration. This can include, for instance, collaboration between universities and research institutes, as well as between businesses and entrepreneurs. This collaboration can lead to new discoveries and new technologies, which will help to create a better future for everyone. By sharing knowledge and expertise, we can create new opportunities for growth and for development. And this will help to drive the innovation and creativity that are so crucial and critical for the future of both countries. In conclusion, the collaboration between Sweden and India 
in higher education, research and innovation is an exciting opportunity that has the potential to transform the future with our shared vision of the future and our commitment to work together we can help to create a better world for everyone i urge you all to embrace this opportunity to work together and to make this collaboration a success thank you thank you so much uh, dr paul and which from uh, head of uh, science and innovation from the embassy of sweden india Yes, uh, let's make a better world for you and me and for the entire human race. Uh, that has been the crux of uh, 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 Dr. Wilkstrom's statement and these are the exciting times that he has rightly said in terms of collaboration between India and all other countries, be it Sweden, Netherlands, Denmark, Cambodia and many other countries and especially for the year when India is hosting the G20 presidency.